Howdy folks, live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Kent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's going around, is that a big top I see there lying on the ground, ballyhoo. Oh, ballyhoo. Support for Kent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Fun ideas for your Wisconsin getaway, from dining and destinations to attractions and accommodations, are available at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And by Northwoods Brewing of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, dedicated to craft brewing specialty beers including Flop and Crappie, Lil Bandit Brown Ale, and Poplar Porter. NorthwoodsBrewPub.com. And now here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, singer-songwriter, and part-time pig farmer, Michael Perry. Thank you, Phil. Howdy, Tent Show folks. Oh, it's great to be way up north here under the beautiful blue and pearl gray canvas, this fine, stout tent at the foot of Mount Ashwell Bay, overlooking the ancient waters surrounding the Apostle Islands and just one sail full of breeze away from Shawamigan Bay. The performance you're about to hear is one in a long, long tradition of singing, dancing, and storytelling performed live and in person beneath this beautiful tent. Keep her pitch from June until the autumn moves. We'd be most grateful if you choose to join us. You'll find a complete schedule at bigtop.org. We hope you join us, and if you do, when the first note rises from the stage, we think you'll understand why patrons and performers alike love to say, Big Top Chautauqua. It's the Carnegie Hall of Tent Shows. Tonight on Tent Show Radio, Canadian fiddle virtuoso Natalie McMaster with fellow virtuoso and her husband, Donald Lake. And later on, during intermission, I'll tell a little story about mowing, or not mowing, the lawn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we fill the tent with fiddles, joined not only in music, but in marriage. Coming to us out of Cape Breton, Canada, Natalie McMaster has collaborated with Alison Krauss, The Chieftains, Paul Simon, Pavarotti, and Yo-Yo Ma in a career that has won her world renown, and tonight she collaborates with Donna Leahy, a legendary fiddler in his own right and, as it happens, Natalie McMaster's husband. It is always handy when you can call a band meeting at the kitchen table. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Lake Superior Chautauqua Big Top Stage, Donna Leahy and Natalie McMaster.
listening to Tent Show Radio. Welcome back to Tent Show Radio, folks, from the backstage dressing room with the one lonely little light bulb burning. Back home on the farm, I need to mow the lawn. Problem is, I'm not your leading lawn guy. Don't get me wrong, I admire a neat lawn in very much the same way I admire a nicely knotted tie. Looks good. Good for you for doing it. I'll be over here in my ratty old t-shirt. I figure as long as you can track the youngest child's head above the clumps of orchard grass as she goes out to fetch the eggs, why burn excess time and gasoline in the name of aesthetics? This has less to do with any pretensions to efficiency and environmentalism than with a general apathy toward greensward. It may also track back to my childhood on the farm when the point of cutting grass was to convert it into hay bales. Among the benefits of living on a dead-end back 40 farm, as we do now, I count the fact that no one ever drives by to look at the lawn, which is a good thing because our main mower is a real turf bludgeoning beauty. It's an off-brand rider that came with the place. The deck rides at a slight angle, which leaves the lawn with a serrated look. Frankly, with proper marketing and a GPS app, I believe this could be pitched as a desirable contouring feature. It is also missing the entire hood. In that way, it makes me sentimental for several of the cars I drove in the 1980s, most of which I bought from underneath the homemade for sale sign, and none of which ever rang the till at anything more than the low three figures. I've always viewed riding lawnmowers as contributing to anemia of character, so when we moved here, I insisted we purchase a push model so that the children might develop strong calves and morals. Six years later, we occasionally use it to trim around the house or mulch some leaves, but mostly it just collects dust in a corner back behind the rider, which, despite its dilapidated state, can do the job in a third of the time. And on this point, I am in wholehearted agreement with my brother Jed, whom I have elsewhere and previously quoted as saying, Mowing the lawn is a timed event. The grass was even taller than usual by the time I mowed for the first time this year. My excuse was based on the fact that I'm a real stickler for regular lawn mower maintenance. I never let the machine go more than three, maybe five years before I changed the oil, and this was the year. I resolved not to spin a blade until it was done. And so when I finally got around to it, the lawn resembled a crabgrass and dandelion preserve. But that faithful old wreck of a mower chewed through it spitting out random silage clots all along the way. Now it's time to mow again. A couple of weeks ago, I looked at new mowers. I was eyeing the ones with the blower bagger attachment, which would mean if we waited too long to mow, at least we wouldn't have to jump over the windrows in order to set up the volleyball net. But then I saw the price tag, and I just couldn't pull the trigger. Besides, I have another attachment for our old mower that's been working out real good even when I'm gone. She's 15 and saving for college. And now let's stop with all this talk of cutting grass and instead cut a rug to the sounds of Natalie McMaster.
Natalie McMaster, everyone. Danelle Leahy. From the top of Wisconsin, Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, the summer home of Tent Show Radio. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Fun ideas for your Wisconsin getaway from dining and destinations to attractions and accommodations are available at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau, Bayfield, Wisconsin. Offering sailing and kayaking among 22 pristine islands, gourmet restaurants, art galleries, and historic lodging. Information online at bayfield.org. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior. Proudly hosting Bayfield's visitors for nearly 100 years. Rooftop deck bar and events for all occasions. Online at thebayfieldinn.com. Tune in next time on your radio or online. Station locations, Big Top Summer Show Schedule, online ticketing, and touring schedule of the Blue Canvas Orchestra at bigtop.org or by calling 1-888-BIG-10. Or stay in touch with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash bigblue10. Tent Show Radio is produced by Tom Fabjans, Michael Perry, Jamie Hansen, and yours truly, Philip Anich. Well, folks, that's our show for today. Whether you join us in the tent or join us in the air, whether you beam us or stream us, we're as grateful as a guy who got someone else to do the mowing for him. Remember, the Big Top is open all summer long and into autumn. It has been for going on three decades now. We'd love it if you came up and or over for a show. And if you're traveling by World Wide Web, I'd be grateful if you dropped by to visit me, your grateful tent show radio host at SneezingCow.com. Yep, just the way it sounds. I'm going to head on back home now, see how long that grass really is. Drive careful. If you can't drive careful, watch out for the other guy. We'll see you next time. And remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose. It's Big Top Showtime under canvas and the stars at the base of Mount Ashwa Bay in beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin. 2015 season highlights include Jim Belushi and the Board of Comedy, Melissa Etheridge, Patty Griffin and Mavis Staples, Kenny Rogers, and the original shows of the Blue Canvas Orchestra. You'll find our season schedule at bigtop.org.